I am a victim of cute packaging. Like, I'm not talking cute packaging, like with the little bows and pink and shit. I am talking about packaging that is knocking my pants off and is giving me orgasms. I love good packaging. And I basically put stuff in and outside the cart on YesStyle on the Flower Nose website itself for the past three months or so before I finally decided to pull the trigger. So we are now here creating this beautiful canvas with Flower Nose products. And let me show you what I got. And the first time ever in my life, I actually saved the carton, like the outside boxes, because they were so freaking pretty. Everything from Flower Nose is kind of collection coordinated. So you have the Mermaid Moonlight or Moonlight Mermaid, then the Chocolate Shop, then their newest one is the Swan Ballet Collection, and they have like different others. In every collection, you have most of the time several lip products, cheek products, and um, eyeshadow palettes. Sometimes in the collection, you also have like a big one box that comes with like a little, um, like a makeup storage, a vanity storage that you can even uh, close up. Of course, I did not get this because I think the big one from the newest collection is like 700 euro. It's a lot, but you also get a lot of makeup. Let's, let's clear that up. So first of all, we have this beautiful outside carton box, and this is from the Swan Ballet Collection, and this is their setting powder. This is the Music Box Loose Setting Powder, and I bought the shade 02, which is a lavender. And can we please admire this? Let me give you a close-up. I mean, come on. And look at the shoe detail on top. How can you sleep? knowing that makeup packaging like this is on the market and then you bring out your boring black compact. <laughs> Just kidding, I like a boring black compact too, but this is this is a this this will catch looks like this 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 plate and I don't know how many times I said this 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 is this this plate somewhere when you have the chances highly recommend. And because I'm so amazed by the Art Claws Contour Compact that I also got from Yes Style, uh, which is also I think an Asian brand or something like that, which is completely uh, logical because Yes Style does do only Asian brands. Forget what I said. Because I was so happy with that contour, I thought maybe Flower Nose has a good contour too. And they, as far as I have seen, do not have a single contour, but they do have a face palette. And this is from the uh, Girls Chocolate Shop collection. And look at this packaging. Hello. And here is what it looks inside. You have a lighter and a darker contour shade, then a yellow powder in the middle that I can totally use as setting powder, and then um, this beautiful highlighter. And look at this design inside. Oh, and by the way, this, this smells like chocolate. Not the good chocolate that the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette had. That was, that was a divine cocoa scent. This smells a bit chemically, but I, I, I can sense the chocolate. You will see me freaking out about the chocolate smell uh, just in a few minutes when we use this. And this is the highlighter on contour set. This does not come in different shades as far as I've seen. And look at the box that it came in. Divine. And I love the very clear instructions here on the packaging. Instruction, using a makeup tool, dip an appropriate amount of this product and gently brush onto the desired area of the face. This, this instruction is so useless. <laughs> I love it. Then I was like, when I have a face palette, I also want to have blushes, and they do have a lot of blushes. There are the round ones from the Circus Collection. I think the Swan Ballet has blushes too. But my um, eyes were caught by the Moonlight Mermaid? Yeah, Moonlight Mermaid series, because hair, no, not because of the hair, because all of the blushes are um, a gradient. And I decided to go with the shade one that is called Snow Goddess. And this goes from very light pink to purple to deeper pink. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. And look at this beautiful compact. How, how is it possible? How, how can this be so beautiful? And last but not least, and actually the reason why I actually thought of buying from Flower Nose is an Instagram, like sponsored post that Flower Nose did. And I always got this palette. This is the 
Swan Belay Serious Palette and this is number two, Black Swan. First of all, this outside packaging. How can you not like this? And now the inside. Come on, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Even the card box that it came in is absolutely stunning. So I will be using every single of these products in today's video. And I don't wanna be an annoying piece of shit because I mentioned this in the end of the video too, but if you wanna snack some of these flower nose items, you can of course get them on the website, but you can also get them on Yes Style as I did. And if you do that, um, you can use my link that's in the info box down below. And I also do have a code that saves you some money off of um, when you order on Yes Style. So let's head now over to the tutorial. I have absolutely no idea how am I supposed to destroy this palette, but we have to because I really want to know if the quality matches this beautiful design. So I'm starting off with this light gray shade and I apply this as my apparently very intense transition color. Okay, uh, uh, I was not expecting this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You know, we need to use the red. So I'm directly going into the red that has beautiful like ballet shoes imprinted. And I use this red on the like outer third, like that. I have to admit this is a very nice red. It looks super intense in the pan, but it goes on actually quite sheer, so you can build it up, which I like with reds. I would totally leave it like that, but I agree that red eyeshadow can make you look a bit sick. So with a very small brush, I'm now going into this black shade and I, I literally just smudge this as if I would apply a winged liner and then I flick it up into the crease. I also want to incorporate the white, so I dab into it with a like fluffy flat pencil brush and I blend the white in this inner crease part and flick it outwards. I'm now taking this silver shade and uh, don't be afraid, my brush is just a bit stained. <laughs> it's not actually yellow. And I apply this now starting in the center. Oh, w what? I was not expecting this actually from Flower Nose. I don't know why, but I thought this is going on like very, very uh, light now. Oh, that's very opaque. It actually covered the red. Okay, wow. But not so uh, opaque that it does not shine through. So it still is there, but it's not, if that makes any sense. And for now, we're leaving this inner quarter and a third part of the lid bare. So as the eyeshadow palette, this is um, also part of this ballet series. And this is the lavender shade. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's like straight up lavender. Personally, I would never use a lavender powder on my um, whole face because this is definitely targeted towards more olive undertones to give a nice glow complexion. But I love lavender powders like this on my under eye area actually. But let me smooth out the concealer. And now I'm using this to set the under eye area. Wow. This is super smoothing. This is such a light tone of lavender. I could probably use this on the whole face, but I'm not sure if I will like that look. Very, very typical Korean skin. This is completely mattifying. Like there is now no shine going on, but it's a matte glow. And this powder has a very, very distinct smell. This smells like my hair mask. Now let's finish the eyes. And I'm tapping back into the red again, this time with a stiff uh, pencil brush. And I start blending directly in the center, bring it inwards and bring it outwards. This is such a nice tone of red. I could totally leave it like that, but I like more definition. So I'm tapping into the black with one of those angled uh, liner brushes and I apply this on the outside and then connect this with the um, upper lid area, but just on this like all the third area. And then I go back with the same pencil brush that I used the red with, but no additional pigment. And I just start blending on top of the black. 
I'm now going into this shade and this is actually a duochrome. So this shifts from a transparent base to purple and I can't wait to wear this. So what I do is I apply this on the inner corner, then a bit here along the red. And I also use this shade now to fill in the rest of the lid because we left that part bare because I wanted to create kind of a gradient look that then um, fades into the inner corner. I also went back with a little more um, of the red shade, but I just used the brush that I applied the red in the crease initially with no extra pigment. I'm going over these edges. I'm also tapping back into the white and I just, I don't know how to describe this, but I try to, I clean blend underneath. That means I am blending slightly underneath the boldest part of the color to have it more of a gradient, but I don't want to tone down the red. I just want to help fading the color better. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm now really, really curious how this face palette, oh, upside down, how this face palette performs. And I mean, look at this. How versatile is this palette? First of all, you have a light, a dark contour, a highlighter, and uh, this yellow shade, actually, I can wear as a um, setting powder on my under eyes. So. Since we used the lavender today, I will not use it today, but um, I will definitely try use this as setting powder. So let's now head into the contour. And I think I wanna start with a light one and then maybe deepen it up with a dark one. And the shape of the pen just screams for a NARS eyebrow brush. <laughs> Finally, oh my God. Am I crazy? This smells like, like chocolate, but chemical chocolate, but I can sense the chocolate, kind of. So let's now apply this contour. Very, very subtle. Oh, very, very subtle. I like that. I can totally see myself using only this shade for certain makeup looks, but since this eye is so intense, I'm now also dabbing into the dark shade. Oh. Wow, I like this even more, or like the mix of both is beautiful. I actually don't mind mixing them because I do the same with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Nude Gasm face palette. Wait, yeah, it's Nude Gasm. With these two, I do mix the light and the dark one too. This is one of the most beautiful contours I've ever used. Now let's use this blush and I'm very, very excited. This is from the Mermaid collection. Moonlight Mermaid, and I bought the shade uh, One Snow Goddess. This tone of blue here inside makes me super curious. You can wear them basically separate, but you know what I will do? I'm not wearing them separate. I wanna smush them together because I imagine this being one of the most beautiful lavender cold tone blushes I've ever seen in my life. So let's apply this, and I was right. This is a borderline dead blush, I'm honest with you, but I love it. I have to admit that this is now the fourth layer because this is so sheer and light that even on me with my, um, like I'm a MAC NC10 color, so I'm very, very pale. Even on me, it does not really show up, but I like this build up to be honest. And overall, it's there but it's not. Oh fuck, I didn't want to like the brand. And then we have the highlighter left. This looks super nice. Actually, it looks very golden, so maybe this could a bit clash the look, but we will see. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. This is actually quite intense, like more intense than I thought, but it's not golden. It is um, white champagne-y. And I think this also has a transparent base to it, I'm pretty sure, because it does not um, like show up the same as it looks here in the pan. And since I just love my brow bone highlight now, I use um, the same shade I used on the inner corner to create my brow bone stripe. And yes, I love a stripe of brow bone highlight, so it doesn't have to be subtle or so. If you don't want to use eyeshadow for that, but you want to try it out, um, take your highlighter. You know, I apply it like this, but you can also do this motion then, you know? Works wonders too. 
Okay, I will now finish the rest of my face to mascara and shit, and then let's talk about the products. Okay, this is now the finished look with the uh, flower nose products that I chose from Yesta, so let's talk about them. Let's start with the powder. Of course, I cannot say anything about does this help now, does it not. What I can say right away is it is very mattifying. So this is like your typical Korean uh, skin style. Very, very matte. It does not leave like that much of a lavender tint, at least on me or the way I applied it. Maybe if you build it up, you can have a more lavender sheen, but I really, really enjoy that it is more of a subtle glow, but still matte. Let's talk about the blush. I am not sure if this blush is really something for everybody, um, but keep in mind, Flower Nose is a Korean or um, like an Asian brand. The skin tones in Asia, they range from uh, white walls to uh, white walls with a golden undertone. They do not have a lot of dark skin tones going on, at least not in like Korea or in China or Japan. Therefore, please do not expect these products to be super versatile for dark skin. So um, before anybody is coming like, oh, that's not inclusive. Um, it's normal for Asian brands to not be targeted towards dark skin. And let's be honest, their targeted market is so big, they do have a lot of customers probably. So as you've seen, I've had some troubles with this blush too. Is it beautiful? Yes. Will it be my new favorite blush? No, but it will have a great purpose in my collection because I do not have a blush that is that light with this type of undertone. I mean, you can see I have this baby pink that is actually more of a pink setting powder to me. Like this looks exactly like the Huda Cherry Blossom one. Then we have this lavender part, which actually looks like the lavender setting powder. And then this more dark pink that actually can work as a blush, but all three mixed together dead. Be careful, you can look dead. I personally really like the way this looks on my face. It is a slight purple undertone. It is, it is really stunning. Again, will not be my favorite blush, but I like the formulation. I like the way this applies and layers. And again, has a purpose in my collection. Will I now explore more blushes from them? Probably not. Um, because I feel like all the colors that I saw online, they looked borderline the same. This little face palette is a surprise item, to be honest, because I bought this because I, I thought when I ordered, like, okay, three items, no, four, yeah. Can I get a fifth? Uh, no, not interested in all. Like, the lip stuff, not interested. This face palette is absolutely stunning. And I actually see myself hitting pan on all of these shades because this contour, like these two contour shades are like made for me. The tone is absolutely stunning. I also enjoy this highlighter a lot. I mean, look at that glow, but very, very uh, concentrated glow. So the rest of the face is matte, then this very, very intense glow is just the look. I did not try the yellow powder, but I will try it as a setting powder. So um, but I think it it will perform nice as everything else. And last but not least, we have to talk about this eyeshadow palette. Let's take a last look inside this beauty. I am so, so surprised. Looking at this palette is giving me feelings like here inside and these are very intense feelings um strong feelings of very very intense excitement because i saw this palette for so long on instagram because of the ads you know the sponsored ads that flower knows does and i was always shown this specific palette never the others always this one and I could not be happier that I bought this. The other palettes, definitely not my style. They're all neutral or pink or like neutral. <laughs> this is so not me, but this is, I think their very first palette with deep, intense colors. Um, um, I, I already have another look in mind where I use the black and the gray um, as, you know, inner and outer matte part. And for the halo look, I apply this very, very roughly up to the brows the red to blend everything out on the lower lash line and then a bit of the shimmer also in the center. Oh, 
this small palette will not be super versatile to you, like, let's be honest. This is a very explicit color story that will give you a certain direction of looks every single time, but I love it. And I see myself um, creating different looks with this. Like, when I look at this palette, I'd say, I don't know, I could probably do five or six different looks with this palette. They will have a certain like base tone, of course, but they will all look different from each other. While sometimes um, when you have bigger palettes, of course, you have shades that are kind of redundant. I do not think that any of these shades in this six pen palette are redundant. Everything has a purpose and everything works together. And while I usually criticize a white and eyeshadow palettes and always say, I don't need a white in my hand, man. Here, in this specific palette, I think the white shade is key for the variety of looks that you can achieve because this is a very good white. This is a very um, surprisingly opaque white, in my opinion. I mean, just look at the swatch. This is really intense. I do have whites that look nice on the finger, but as soon as you apply them, they crumble away and they kind of... Um, I don't know, they, they get flaky, even though they're like mad whites, but this one goes on smooth. You see an opaque layer of color, or like opaque as, white, as opaque white can get. And this is perfect for toning down everything. I love it. I'm looking at this palette the whole time and think about the question, would I have done this palette differently or would I have left these shades? And I think, I think this is a very, very perfect composition of shades for this theme. And look at this packaging, like, it's so pretty. Is there anything from the Flower Nose brand that I should try? Let me please know down below. If you want to try Flower Nose by yourself, you can buy them, of course, on the website. But if you want to support the channel, you can also order this on YesStyle, where I got mine. And um, if you want to save some money, you can use my code Allogram10. Here's the code for you. It's Allogram10. I'm happy if you use it. If you don't, it's also fine. But if you're interested in Flower Nose, I highly recommend checking this brand out. I think they have very interesting products. And let's be honest, and let's be honest, 80% of the eyeshadows from Flower Nose look actually the same, but the packaging, the packaging is what gets me. So don't forget to check out the other links and thank you for watching. And I hope I will see you in the next one.